Hello you guys, my name is Steven and in this tutorial I'm going to be telling you how to further tether your phone through a USB connection because unlike you, well, I have a problem, there's probably many others that have the same problem with my neck gear card or your neck gear card or whatever Wi-Fi card you're using where you have to get up because for some reason the connection has dropped so you had to get up, stand up, further strain your arms and pull the dang memory card out and plug it back in just for it to get back online because sometimes it doesn't really work. I don't know if it's just a bug or whatever it is, but tethering your the phone's internet connection, whether it be Wi-Fi or mobile, I use this for Wi-Fi because I have a Wi-Fi hotspot at the house. So what I want to do is, what I did actually is I downloaded the PDA net and then I have FoxFi Key. FoxFi Key is part of the PDA net. The difference between PDA net and FoxFi is PDA net is USB support. FoxFi is Bluetooth. Now, in order to get PDA net to work fully with a full where it doesn't cut you off or anything, what you want to do is find yourself a copy of the FoxFi key, just purchase it. Well, I'm not going to tell you where to download this, but uh, just look up PDA net 4.15. And if you want to find any application, you can look up PDA net 4.15 and then put the .apk file format in there because that will definitely help find what, it, where, what you're looking for. So just uh, copy these two files. FoxFi key and PDA net into your memory card. As you can see, I have the memory card right here. I copied the files. Well, of course, copied in here, but uh, copy the files in here to my memory card. Now, what you want to do is you want to take this memory card out, put it in your your uh, cell phone. This is my memory card, my micro SD card. Put it in your cell phone, or you could just simply transfer it through USB. Put it in your cell phone. Install this one first, PDA Net 4.15 APK. Then install the FoxFi key. And once you got those installed, you open up the PDA Net. You turn USB debug options on. Or you, you click the USB tether options, you click OK. It'll probably ask you to turn USB debug options on. So what you have to do, is you have to go to the start, go over the settings options, and scroll down until you see um, USB debug. You click the USB debug, which is ADB debug, and you go down, you scroll down as, until you see the ADB debug. You click enable ADB debug, and then click stay alive. That way that the connection doesn't get dropped if your computer or if your phone actually like freezes or it uh, it goes to the lock screen after so many times you can still use the internet I've had that problem happen to me before so I just use the stay alive and this application right here PDA net this is the application you use so you can connect it to your phone so once so once ever once you got everything set up I will say Android 4 Android 4.15 All right. what you need is any Android phone Windows 8.187 XP or Vista so pretty much anything what you want to do is you want to click and go through this installation. Once you have everything installed, it will ask you for what kind of drivers you want. Now, this is important because you'll need the drivers for your phone that supports it for the computer. Because otherwise, it's not going to be able to read your phone properly because it requires ADB debug drivers. So once you got that, you can automatically click on it. It will give you a list. Samsung, um, Samsung Galaxy, uh, LG, HTC. It will give you a big list of the drivers that you can download. Well, it actually has a pre-packed into it, so you just click on it and it will install it for you for that specific drivers. And then once you, once it's fully installed, all you do is you plug the device in as it is, and then you go to the PDA net and you click Enable USB Tethering. It will say device has been plugged in at the bottom right hand side of your screen. And then all you have to do is click on it, or you can create a shortcut to your PDA Net software from the file that you installed right here, PDA Net. Put it right on your desktop computer, desktop, which is actually, which is actually right here, this little area. But I got it kind of small. But um, put it on your desktop. You, all you have to do is once it's plugged in, you just click on the icon, and then uh. It will start up, of course. It will say it's connected. Everything will, will be working fine. Your USB tether connection will be working with your either data or your Wi-Fi. And then with the uh, PDA net, with PDA net, um, you.
you can also set up Bluetooth connection. That'll work too, but I don't really feel like um, installing this completely. I got my wireless card working so far, but you guys have a great day and I hope I helped you.